Hello everyone and welcome back to Torque News YouTube channel where we cut through the EV buzzwords and get what's really happening under the hood. So I'm going to explain you why Tesla is pumping the brakes on solid state batteries. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up if you like the story which I'm about to tell you. So today's topic, solid state batteries. You probably heard they're supposed to be uh, kind of very important of EV technology technology, battery technology, double the energy density, faster charging, safer, basically the perfect battery. But here is the twist. Tesla's key battery suppliers, Panasonic and CATL, just signaled that this game-changing technology might be years away from actually changing the game. Let's unpack what's going on now. Solid-state batteries replace the liquid electrolyte in today's lithium-ion packs, with a solid material. On paper, they can deliver around 500 watt per kilogram. That's potentially double the energy density of what is in most electric vehicles today. More range, less charging time, fewer safety concerns. Sounds perfect, right? Well, perfect on a PowerPoint slide isn't the same as perfect in a production line. So why Panasonic and CATL aren't sold? Here's where it gets interesting. Panasonic's CTO recently said he is not convinced solid state will be a world changer for electric vehicles anytime soon. In fact, he suggested they're better suited for niche uses like drones or power tools. Translation. The technology is cool but not ready for prime time in a 5,000 pound SUV. They're probably good for smaller um, gadgets or so. CATS position isn't much rosier. They've hinted that mass production solid state EV batteries uh, is still years away, maybe 2027 if things go well. But even that's optimistic. Scaling up this kind of technology isn't just about making a better work. It's about making millions of them reliably and affordably. So where does Tesla land in all this? For Elon Musk's team, battery strategy is about scaling fast and cutting costs. Lithium-ion technology is proven, getting better like every year, and it's already embedded in Tesla's supply chain. Why bet the farm on solid state when you can squeeze more performance out of what you have already mastered, right? Even Tesla's engineering leadership has stressed, uh, stressed there is still plenty of untapped potential in lithium-ion batteries. Plus, from a business standpoint, changing your battery platform too early can be a logistical nightmare. So Tesla still has time. Solid-state batteries are still years away. This doesn't mean the industry is standing still. Nissan is working toward a solid-state electric vehicle by around 2028. That's still three years away, but costs remain high. Meanwhile, companies like Scylla Nanotechnologies are pushing silicon anode batteries, basically upgrading existing lithium-ion cells for 20% better performance without reinventing the wheel. These kinds of incremental uh, wins might not sound as good as a solid state revolution, but they can actually get to market faster and make a bigger impact for drivers in the near term. So we will ever see solid state batteries in Tesla? Probably, but not this decade, not in the next three to five years at least. The technology isn't just uh, ready for the demands of mass market electric vehicles and Tesla's focus is on what works now, not what might work in 2030. So what do you think, friends? Would you rather wait years for a huge jump in battery performance or keep improving the technology we've got today so prices drop faster? Let me know in the comments your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, uh, to our Talk News channel for more ground that takes on the future of electric vehicles, their batteries. See you next one. God bless you, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a great day.